John Gill's Exposition of the Bible Text All the gold that was occupied for the work in all the work of the holy place, even the gold of the offering, was twenty and nine talents, and seven hundred and thirty shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary. Exodus 38 24 Commentary All the gold that was occupied for the work, in all the work of the place, that was expended in making the mercy seat and cherubim, and the candlestick, which were all of pure gold, besides other things belonging to the ark and showbread table, and the plates, with which the ark and many other things were covered or glided. Even the gold of the offering, which the people brought and offered freely, as their bracelets, earrings, and jewels of gold, Exodus 35:22, was twenty-nine talents, and seven hundred and thirty shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary. Now as it is clear from, Exodus 38 25, 26, that a talent is of the value of three thousand shekels, which, according to Brer Ewood, amount to three hundred and seventy-five pounds of our money, and reckoning as he does the value of gold to be twelve times that of silver, a talent of gold, with him, is, of our money, forty-five hundred pounds, so that twenty-nine talents, seven hundred and thirty shekels, are reckoned by him at one hundred thirty-one thousand five hundred ninety-five pounds, but according to Dr. Cumberland, who is more exact in his calculation, and who reckons a talent of silver at three hundred and fifty-three pounds, eleven shillings, and ten pence halfpenny, and the value of gold to be fourteen times that of silver, so that a talent of gold is, with him, fifty sixty-seven pounds, three shillings, and ten pence, wherefore this whole sum of gold expended in the tabernacle, according to him, amounted to one hundred forty-eight thousand seven hundred nineteen pounds sterling. And, according to Wazerus, the amount of the whole is three hundred fifty thousand nine hundred twenty Hungarian ducats, which make three tons and a half of gold, and nine hundred and twenty ducats. When one considers the distressed case of the Israelites in Egypt, their late deliverance from thence, and the desert in which they were, it may be wondered how they came by these riches, here and after mentioned, but when it is observed, the riches of their ancestors, particularly what Joseph got in Egypt, which descended to their posterity, the repayment of the labor of the Israelites at their departure, with what they borrowed of the Egyptians, and what they found upon their carcasses when cast up by the Red Sea, it will in a good measure be accounted for, to which may be added, that, according to Jerem, there were, eleven miles from Mount Horeb in the wilderness, fruitful mountains of gold, called Catacrisia.